Do you want to be a high caliber woman? Someone with tremendous quality, someone who is interesting, someone who grabs the attention of many, and somebody who is the best version of themselves. Whether you want to do all of that or not, the fact is you have to do all of those things. You have to be a high caliber woman. And I'll tell you why. Society is moving in a direction that does not favor women. And if you don't make yourself the best version you can possibly be, you are going to miss out on a lot of things. Everything is already going in a direction that makes it difficult for us women to succeed and to really have it easy, okay? Society is really favoring men these days for many, many reasons, and I can make a whole entire video about that. But if you don't take the extra steps to make yourself a prize to be one, then you're going to be missing out on a lot in life. You're going to struggle. You're going to have to do everything yourself and things are not going to go smoothly for you. By the way, if you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Karina and I make videos every single week about money, women, and power. My goal is to empower women to be the best female they could possibly be so we can have the biggest advantage possible. We are powerful, powerful creatures and we are meant to do amazing, tremendous things. But we are slightly being brainwashed with how things are going and if we don't open our eyes to that and if we don't push ourselves to really surpass all of that, things are going to be difficult. So why should we even strive to be better? And I'm going to give you some very shocking kind of realizations. Maybe you'll have a few aha moments and also give you some actionable steps and some ideas of what you can actually do to take yourself to the next level, okay? It is the beginning of a new decade and we really need to be on our game. Right now, the competition is fierce between women and a lot of women are being trained to essentially just, you know, not do much and have that be okay. For some reason that gets dismissed and a lot of people are looking at females as just whatever. And that's not okay with me. <laughs> it's really not. And I really, really, really disagree with that. So girl, you need to step up your game. I need to step up my game. We all need to step up our games, okay? The main point I want to make is you have to be different. You cannot be swimming with the fish towards the current or with the current. You can't be one of the sheep that's literally doing the exact same thing, okay? I see it on my Instagram feed all the time. I hear stories. Basically, it just seems like all girls want to do is just have fun, okay? And I'm not trying to bring back the 80s and the song girls just want to have fun, although that's a fun song, but it's the honest truth and that's not what we are meant to do. We're not meant to just have fun. And trust me, if you become the best version of yourself, you can have much, much more fun than you are currently having, okay? With the competition of a woman right now, especially based on looks and everyone is trying to basically outperform by literally physical appearance and with surgery readily available that's kind of what people gravitate towards and they just take it over the top and honestly that's why i think people are overdoing their surgeries just a little bit is because they don't know in what other ways to overcompensate and let me tell you girlfriend your looks are not going to last you a lifetime your youth if you are in your young teen or in your 20s or in your 30s that is all going to fade and then what are you going to be left with okay if we look at social media, that's all I see. Everyone just showing as much skin as possible to get the much attention as possible because they think that makes them a bigger woman and a bigger person. And that just kind of slows all of us back and doesn't favor women whatsoever. And that's not going to get you anything quality, okay? I hear so many stories. I've just talked to so many ladies and they have such a difficult time in their dating life is because men have too many options because women just give them the options. They don't put any effort on having the man win them over. They are just giving everything they have up 
on the first night of meeting not even on a first date and that's just ridiculous and then they're surprised at why they can't find a good quality men and all they're doing is going out seeking men whether it's online or on social media or in person at certain venues you know clubs and lounges and that's just not a good way to find yourself a supportive partner that actually values you okay you're basing things off of looks and you're competing with the herd you're competing with the sheep with the cattle with the fish with the just everyone going in one direction and let me tell you something when you advance yourself in all of these other areas of your life that I'm going to talk about and you actually value and respect yourself as a female and you let other people win you over you let other people win your attention over whether you're going to give your attention your time yourself to them then the best people are going to come into your life you don't need to do anything that is physical to get people into your life you don't need to beg you don't need to be one of them you can be a very special Special person that is a package an all-around package that has assets in more than just your looks because what are you going to do when looks fade when there are a million other girls that are just doing things based off of their looks that is such short-lived the competition is too high for that and you're really not going to get the result you want because you're just going to attract sleazy people that just want your looks that's the harsh truth and that's the real truth okay that's the type of videos I make on this channel so subscribe if you haven't liked if you haven't well like this video too but subscribe and like and notification bell because trust me you're gonna get a lot of value okay so how do you actually become a high caliber woman what is going to make yourself stand out from the herd from the sheep from the cattle from the fish that are swimming with the stream because you don't want to be one of them okay there's a lot of things and that's basically your overall essence how do you make yourself interesting how do you grab the attention of people how do you stand out well first off you want to work on your habits you need to realize what are you putting in your time your energy your focus on because the things that you put focus on are the things you're going to get back I've mentioned this a few times in my other videos if you are simply focused on passing time going to your nine to five just going to school and simply putting in your studies and putting the bare minimum of work and getting things done and then asking a girlfriend to happy hour so you can meet a potential suitor or just you know browsing on Facebook or watching Netflix TVs partying drinking you're not gonna stand out and you're not gonna get very far okay that is a very very terribly terribly bad habit and that is one that you want to break as soon as possible time is so precious and us females already have less of it as it is if we are looking at it in terms of our biological years so you really need to value the time that you put into yourself and also into other people what type of people are you surrounding yourself with are they people that are just seeking for cheap thrills and that's all they care about is to you know get a little buzzed have a good time hope for the best or are you hanging around people that are ambitious and trying to achieve goals that are bigger than themselves if you don't have those types of friends it's better to be alone and to accomplish your goals in silence so what should you actually do okay do things that add a value to other people we are all very different we all have very different interests i for example have a huge interest in business i'm an entrepreneur i have online businesses i have a second business channel you can check it out it's linked down below and also right here on my youtube page so i do amazon fba so i'm very passionate about business and i also coach others how to start up their own profitable businesses and that is what i love to do that is my job job my self-given job you know so i do that on the daily and i really enjoy it i'm able to help other people as well understand the business model and launch their own businesses and that is something that i have a tremendous passion and fire about and it really adds value to so many other people so you have to find what are you doing in your field in your dream job your dream career that's adding value to other people if you're an entrepreneur if you're a nurse if you are an author or painter whatever it may be just find a way to take that bigger than yourself and help other people as well whatever you give out you're going to get that back 10 times more so trust me doing this for others is really going to help you it's just it's it's better okay this is just how the world works you're going to get so much back and more than you actually know and there's so many ways to give back okay 
Again, it doesn't even have to be in the career that you are in. Volunteer somewhere. Do hobbies that involve other people. Don't look at life as a selfish thing where you are just trying to succeed for yourself. And when you are done doing whatever you're doing, you're just wasting time. Do it to expand yourself to actually help others. Next, you have to factor in all areas of your life and improve every single one of them. Yes lady every single one you have to focus on your health that includes your sleeping your diet your exercise your skincare regimen you have to factor in your emotions and making sure that you are just a solid wonderful woman that doesn't get affected and doesn't get dragged into bull crap essentially by other people's gossip by other people's negativity you have to be grounded in your mentality and your emotions and that could mean reading books listening to podcasts meditating practicing gratitude and law of attraction journaling and such these things like that i do all of these and that is really going to help you become mentally grounded you have to focus on your wealth yes that means money that means being conscious of your spending and your funds and how are you making money don't spend your money on stupid stupid things such as stupid designer handbags that are going to go out of season learn how to grow your money and this is the business side of me talking but it's a very very important side okay get your credit right if your credit is messed up your life is messed up at least that's how it is in the US okay so you really want to make sure your credit is fine so if you ever need to do something like lease a place lease a car anything that your credit is fine and that you are not limited the more limited you make yourself the less choices you have in life the more pushed down you feel and the less you can achieve your goals and really have that attitude of freedom that's going to attract more freedom into your life so you have to factor in all of those things and also your education what are you feeding in your brain how are you advancing in your actual career and your field just being a pretty face and posting photos on social media is not a career just getting some side little gigs on the side that's not a career you have to think long term you have to think if my looks were stripped away what can i actually add value with and trust me there is a lot so factor in all of those areas you also have to factor in how do you carry yourself how do you present yourself and that means the way you look the way you dress how you talk like literally your tone of voice and the words you say cut out cursing cut out the foul language okay cut out being too much and dressing provocatively and just grabbing attention in the wrong areas do take care of yourself okay don't just go out there in sweats and a bun because that's not going to attract a lot of good things into your life you are a beautiful creature and you need to show that off okay you can just be even more beautiful okay we do need to put effort into our appearance we will feel better we look better we attract better that's just how it works and then last but not least i really this is very important i want to tie this in i mentioned standing out what makes you you have a skill that makes you stand out that plays onto your intelligence and the crazy and sad thing is is that when an intelligent woman presents herself it shocks like 98 percent of people and it's because it's just for some reason especially ladies that are younger it's just not perceived that way okay a woman for some reason is more valued on her looks and it's shocking when she's intelligent so find something that actually makes you stand out okay learn another language pick up a hobby it could be music learn an instrument the guitar the piano the violin anything singing pick up painting pick up dancing something like i said it's just it's really important to also knowing two languages is very very important i actually am in the process of learning a third one right now because i just really want to expand myself in those areas and ladies trust me i am doing all of the above that i just mentioned i'm not saying it's easy i'm not saying it's a piece of cake it's a lot of work it's a lot of mental and physical work especially you got to go to the gym okay no matter how fit and great you think you are it's very important not just for the aesthetic look but anyways just remember stand out and really improve yourselves and i'll see you in my next video